Greetings from Point Lookout. Straight from the look of warm beaches and luscious wetlands comes Duchess Gambit, the finest vessel on the East Coast, piloted by Tobot Ferryman. He brings the hearty punga fruit, a delicious and nutritious addition to your daily meal. Its tangy taste is the most refreshing meal in the world. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion, but if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. Welcome back to my series dedicated to the wonderful art of squatting. If you're new here, the concept is simple. We take a big open world game, primarily Elder Scrolls or Fallout, and limit ourselves to just one section of that game, exploring the mechanics and squeezing as much of that sweet content juice as we can from relatively small areas. Today we're setting up shop in the Fallout 3 DLC Point Lookout. Our friend here, Jebediah, had a rough life growing up in a vault where he dealt with lots of bullies. Hey, you guys mind if I join you? You seem really cool. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Not as cool as my party, though. Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Wally, is that the same birthday party where your fucking hairline started receding? I'm out of here, this party sucks. Everyone's a jerk. That's why he's off to abandon his previous life and live amongst the locals in the Appendix of Maryland, teaching you all about how you too can survive and get the most out of your Swamp Life experience. This is actually the first official Fallout 3 entry into the series, and you may be wondering why we're starting here and not somewhere like the often requested DC area. Well, one, my channel, and uh, I can do whatever I want, and two, I'd like to do Far Harbor soon, and this is a good primer for it. I've also never played a Point Lookout, so I'll be going in with a fresh set of eyes as I and my friend Jebediah take you along with us for our muddy excursion together. Choose sex. Uh, no. Ah, the Fallout 3 intro. Fun fact, the only intro in the entire series that features two dungeon exits. Ah, freedom. We're gonna fly past the intro today, but because it's relevant, here's the special stats I went with. I tagged sneak, medicine, and melee weapons, grabbed the medicine bobblehead for a plus 10 buff, and took the level up that occurs upon leaving the vault. Other than that, we're naked, stripped of all of our previous life's possessions, and only allowed to use things that we find within Point Lookout. First order of business is getting to the Duchess Gambit right here. Nothing scary. Seems to be pretty clear. Oh God, they're already coming after me. Okay, we can't do it like this. <laughs> Scavenger, help me. Hey, where? That's it, that's it. Don't, you don't, don't shoot your own dog. Oh, oh, fuck. All right, we're almost through. We follow this street. There's gonna be a bandit. I really wish I had some boots. This is painful. We have cover if we get behind these little pillars. Go. Ah, run, Jebediah. Oh God. Oh, okay, okay. Right, we're just gonna run and cut through. Ow. Dead end, dead end, flamethrower. All right, if we just route through all these collision oh. objects and poles, hopefully we can confuse the AI just a bit. Would you lay off? I'm <laughs> I'm trying to catch a fairy. Ooh. Nice, nice. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I like it. <gasps> all right, never mind. Okay, I think when we hit the bottom highway, we can just ride it over. All right, straight shot. See? Not too bad. Oh, dude, whoa, oh, <laughs> shit. Block the grenade. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 there's a huge encounter over there with mercenaries. I wasn't expecting Talon Company this early. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. Stop, stop, please. Why? That equipment is far too heavy. Quick, a naked traveler, grab the rocket launcher. Just have to dodge the first grenade. Dodge it. Nice toss, bozo. He'll get confused trying to follow us around the car. Perfect. Come on, Jebediah. Mm, get moving. Whew. All right, we made it. Not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. We only died once. Oh, God, you really didn't come all the way over here, did you? Yo, back me up. <laughs> we got to get going. Tobar. Oh. Tobar, can you please hit your shots more? Tobar, you're a legend in the making. Where'd that one lady go? Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. Dad taught me never to accept rides from strangers. I did just leave the vault, so I probably would just talk about my dad. My daddy said, I'm no stranger. I'm Tobar the Ferryman. You're too friendly. 
Something's off with this guy. I don't like this guy. All right, you made it. See, not too bad. Just gotta be a little quick on your feet. Now, you will need to pay a fee in order to ride the ferry, but given the circumstances, cheating the money into your inventory is fine by me. A brief loading screen, some plinky banjo, and a mouth harp, and you'll dock at Point Lookout. Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. With how cheery and upbeat he is, you'd expect Point Lookout to be all... When in reality, it's more like... But I'm not interested in highlighting the sad, lonely, empty, depressing, hostile, dirty, grungy, messy, dilapidated, downright awful first impression this place makes. I'm here to help you make a life for yourself around here. But where should we start? Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit. Except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Slow your roll, Tobar. We don't even have clothes yet. The smiling mustache is referring to this mansion up on the hill nearby, but before checking that out, you should check a few items off of your handy dandy point lookout survival guide. Now, of course, that's not a real thing, but I need a storytelling vehicle, okay? So get over it. First and foremost, you need equipment, drugs, medicine, ammo, basically everything before venturing deeper into the island as it's filled with treacherous dangers, including mirelurks and ghouls, not to mention the worst of them all's. Oh, ow! Oh. Oh, baseballs! Well, hello there, young traveler. This is Madame Panada, or as I like to call her, Mad Empanada. Huh? Oh, you know what? Shut up. It's funny. Anyway, Mad Empanada is your first merchant and contact in town. She's inconsequential, not important to any quests, and really only good for the handful of drugs and a weapon she has sitting on her counter. We'll be replacing her role as merchant shortly, but I gotta say, it's awfully impressive how she's able to run a successful business in a town with a population of, not including anyone who's loaded up on drugs in NASCAR, just her. She's the only one who lives at the docks. I just got here, I don't want to go hunting for dog. Oh god, I guess I have to. I have no choice. Sorry, pa okay, nice. The other issue you'll need to sort out is the pitiful spreadsheet of skills you currently have. I mean, eight barter? Big guns? Why the hell did I put so many points into melee weapons? Chances are you'll be shortchanged on some skills too, so you'll need XP, and fast. You're also gonna need a shelter, but thankfully there's a motel just next door you can crash at for the time being. It's got all the motel classics, like leftover drugs, a used body pillow, an incomplete pre-war Chinese espionage operation with a breadcrumb trail for you to follow that sees you finding audio tapes, diving into pre-war lore and politics, investigating unmarked buildings at the pier, and maybe finding an exploding baby. Or 12. God damn it, do we really? Is it necessary to have all the baby heads everywhere? I'm just waiting for one of them to explode and kill me. <laughs> Run! Freeze! I'm armed! Don't make me! Oh, 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 go! Ow, 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 ow. The Velvet Curtain. You've got yourself some direction now, and once you start following this quest, you'll realize that Point Lookout isn't shy about handing you a large number of supplies, explosives, stim packs, etc. It's all gonna come in handy because eventually, and before you're ready for it, the quest is going to point you deep into the map, looking for the corpse of the Chinese spy you're following, and you'll have to apply everything you've collected up until this point. Oh. Hello, good people. I'm sure this is a nice welcoming committee. You're in the wrong place, boy! <laughs> Oh god, that's just... Nice shot, wonderful. Jebediah, come on, you need to land these hits better. Got him. Oh god, who are you? Where the hell did you all come from? They're just increasingly ugly. Oh my god, there's a third one now, Jesus. Oh god, they won't leave me. Go! I got something for you! Come here, boy. Why, Jebediah, can you not? Yeah. Got him. They seem to have trouble navigating around tires. They also appear to have trouble not having sex with their own siblings. <laughs> Come on. Check it, make sure it's good. I used most of my ammo, but I still think we came out of that fight pretty profitable. Come on, give me a critical. One shot. Oh yeah! You really thought you could kick me out of my place I grew up here. This is my stomping ground. Turtle dove detention. Oh god, that's my that's a, that is my objective. Keep rotating. We got him stun locked. Oh. Okay, one down. Come on, Jebediah! Swing that axe like your mother raised you to! There you go, Jeb. Uh, uh, why couldn't you guys oh. have shown up earlier? Oh. Swing, Jebediah. Uh. Oh. 
Heal, heal. Oh! The truck explosion just saved my life. Go. All right, we got to leave. We got our level up. Let's get out of there. Now we can hit the store and sell off a bunch of stuff. There is a microfilm within that must contain the self-destruct codes for the Chinese submarine. I got something for you. Initiate self-destruct. Get clear of the submarine before it self-destructs. No. A good captain goes down with their ship. Is this thing gonna blow up at all? Come on. I can't say for sure, but it feels like a necessary thing to let the submarine send you flying before completing the mission properly. I assume everybody else who's played this DLC did the exact same thing. Am I wrong here? This spells the end of your initial quest, which leads you to completing the mission of a pre-war Chinese agent and discovering a lot of loot. Whoa, 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 whoa! Already a good amount along the way and throughout the map, but when you reach the secret bunker as a final reward, even more is thrown your way. Double barrel shotguns, lever action rifles, landmines, mini nukes, I'm kind of holding out hope we can find a- More! More! It's everywhere! If Jesus was an assault rifle, it would be the Fallout 3 Chinese assault rifle. You'll end up in a final bunker room where you'll find a unique lever action variant, the backwater rifle. Spoiler alert, it's the only gun you'll really need here. Check the terminal for your last message and... You have done well to get this far, Agent Jiang. Your payment has been transacted to your next of kin under the pretext of a ration lottery. Oh, <laughs> what? Your life must now be terminated for the good of the People's Republic. Go with dignity, honorable soldier. Oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. We just gotta think, we gotta think, we gotta be calm. Um. <gasps> it's right there. There is an exit out of here. So now you should be around level four, or at least I was at this point. It finally hit me that I need to be putting all of my effort into small guns and stop wasting time with skills like barter and melee. This DLC is going to constantly full auto pepper you with cash at an alarming rate and it never really slows down. I don't know the exact timing of it, but the locations around the map refresh really quickly too, so you can just revisit places and clean up the enemies for more XP and loot. Now the enemies can hit hard, especially if they're using guns, but it does start to trivialize itself a bit on standard difficulty. So I think at this point you should be well equipped enough to take on most enemies point lookout will throw at you. Even just relying on the drops from swamp folks should be enough to keep your weapons repaired, your ammo supplied, and your stim packs plentiful. I had that totally backwards. You lost! What? Yeah, I, I am lost. You don't have to do this every time I fast travel. Just keep an eye out for the fast travel jump scares these guys like to employ. Other than that, I think you've got basic survival handled, and I think it's time you check out that mansion on the hill that Tobar was talking about earlier. Okay, mansion. I don't know who you are, but you need to help me if you want to stay alive. I think they are just about to breach the inner walls. Follow me. I'm going to go check it out. Dude, what a setup. It's got a whole prepper setup. I gotta say, the camera quality there is really trash, though. Hey, over here. Is that Jib? He sounds like Jib. Mm, stand up. Yes. Stupid... I'm trying to save you, dog. Oh god, I let the dog get killed. Nice shot, Desmond. Uh... Oh! Oh, never mind, Jerry is okay. <laughs> I thought the dog was gone. He does just sound like a Morrowind Dunmer, though. <clears throat> Outlander. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping an eye on the cameras down here. Hurry. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you, Captain Jib. Okay, alright, time for drugs. Excuse me? Oh. oh my lord! You first. That was the least athletic entrance you could have had. You know, I prefer when you don't move. Thank you, just stay right. Perfect! Hurry and get in here. Looks like they're about to breach from the east wing. Fetcher. Hey, hey, hey! Aw, oh, come on. Whoa, where am I fa- I'm phasing through the map. Oh, that was so immersive. Whoa! 
What the hell? Oh. Oh. To the, to the what? Excuse me? Sorry, come again? How's it feel you're getting your ass kicked by a guy in overalls? Oh, she actually ducked. Oh, you are a little shifty. Yeah, here they come. Grab all the ammo and stimp action. Here they come. Where? Where are you seeing them? Come on, tell me my preparation pairs up. Pays off. Preparation pays. Prep I can say the words. You didn't say anything about that door. Ah. Okay, so the landmine was useless. Oh. They're at the front door. Get ready. I am. All right, that sounded like a Morrowind Dark Elf when he just like exclaimed randomly right there. That looks like the last of them. They don't look pretty good shot. So, my hero. Think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time. Everybody give a warm welcome to our new friend Desmond, local nice guy who really appreciates all the hard work others put in for him. Not a fucking 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 rock hard bastard, you ignorant fuck, fuck out of here. He also just learned how to swear yesterday. Honestly, in my opinion, this is just my first impressions. He's a standout character with some ridiculous motivations that will come to light later, but that are just so fallout. I love this character. I'm also really biased here, but I'll take any excuse to work on my Morrowind Dark Elf impression. Somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Now, Desmond wants to investigate the tribals that attacked his compound. He's really vague on the details, and you'll likely get the sense that he's hiding something. He will very kindly and politely task you with disguising yourself to infiltrate the tribal's compound to investigate their motivations. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Yeah, what are you offering? Information. Info? No, I'm not interested. You seem like a dick. Sorry, but that's not really an option. I was only being polite and pretending that it was. Take a while and roll it around in your tiny brain. Looks like you don't have a choice, but I guess if you're living in Point Lookout forever, you'll have to make friends some way. Once you've got a good fitting disguise, you'll be greeted in the same way I used to greet my mom when she would knock on my door in the middle of a Minecraft session. Who lingers at the threshold of transcendence? I seek the wisdom of your people. May I join your tribe? What's this? A humble traveler, seeking the guidance of our awakened minds. Truly, this is a glorious day. You must be prepared to expand your consciousness. You must prove yourself worthy to transcend. If you're wondering how difficult this test could be, seeing as all 70 people you just wasted at Desmond's Manor all apparently survived it, you just have to kill a couple of Mirelurks and walk through what I think is supposed to be a scary acid trip, but it plays out more like a really cheesy pop-up county fair house of horrors. This isn't scary at all, they're just repairing the ground where it was injured. If anything, it's good medical practice. Amada, wake up! Was she blinking? Oh my god, she is blinking, that's kinda creepy. This whole sequence revolves around the tribal's worship of the native punga fruit, a gift from the earth to the tribals, according to their leader Jackson, who you'll meet after this brief acid trip. They also lobotomize you. Kind of weird, but also a significantly cooler initiation than those losers back in Vault 101 will ever have. Dorks. Oh, a green person! Truly, the Mother Punga has bestowed her wisdom upon you. Now that you've made some friends and pushed through the most underwhelming portion of this DLC, you're ready to uncover the mystery behind it all. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton. Psychic domination! And that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device! You are... a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps? I was drawn to your eternal wisdom, Jackson. What splendid news. The Transcendent Master will want to hear of this. It is he who makes all true decisions about the spiritual growth of our tribe. It's a guy in an Xbox Live party chat. That's who's controlling their entire guild. So you're the mouse that was scurrying around here? Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Calvert, previous owner of the mansion that Desmond lives in, mad scientist, and business rival who's duped the tribals into thinking he's a god. I thought I liked Desmond as a character, but I really love this guy. I only wish there could have been more of him. You gaze upon one of America's greatest minds, preserved through the miracles of science! Jackson believes me to be some kind of god. You'd think that would be good, but his 
interpretations of my commands leave something to be desired. Yeah, what the hell do you have? Well, okay, what do you have against Desmond? What is going on? Desmond, that bag of bones and bile will pay dearly for his trespasses. Were it not for his interference, I would still have a body. Still, its absence is only honed by brilliance. Perhaps I owe my thanks. I really like this character a lot. <laughs> I really, really like this character a lot. I'm, I'm very, very happy now. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. Wait, how does he know who this guy is? I didn't even say anything to him. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. Okay, that doesn't explain how you knew it was him in the cave though, Desmond. You tasked us with investigating the tribals. We investigated the tribals. We found their leader. We then came back to you to report. And you already knew the answer. Why the hell did I even have to go there? At the very least, Please tell me you can give me some background on your rivalry. The Calverts owned half of Maryland. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the US government. They even had a top candidate for president until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. All right, what do you want me to do? I'm not helping you. Of course, you. I want you to do something. Enough with the F-bombs, okay? I'm the one that gets to say F-bombs on this stream. Yeah, maybe you should watch your tone. I'm getting sick of this. You'd best wise the hell up and play along. Desmond wants you to set up a jammer on the Ferris wheel on the docks to mess with Calvert. But not so fast, says Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I'm in your mind. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Excellent. Most excellent. I knew that you would make the right choice. This then leads to Calvert blowing up the entire mansion somehow, with Desmond then escaping the mansion without explanation, chasing Calvert into his lair in the lighthouse, but again I have to ask, if you knew he was in the lighthouse this whole time, why have we been bothering with all of this nonsense? Yo, you bastard, betray me, you fuck. you think you can betray me? You have one chance, exactly one chance to f***ing redeem yourself in my eyes. <laughs> we are going to go in there, and we are going to end this once and for f***ing all. And you will help, or you will be my enemy. I am so tired of you pushing me around, Desmond. All right, you're mean, you're rude, you swear too much, you're gonna get my video demonetized. I'm done. You betrayed me because I wasn't polite? <laughs> are you out of your f***ing mind? <laughs> <laughs> I don't take orders from nobody, Desmond. All right, well, except for the voice inside my head. That's the only one I take orders from. Would it make your little feel bads all better if I said, please? <laughs> That'll do. Very nice. That's all I needed to hear, Desmond. Finally, you've turned around. I've waited a long time for this. I can smell him. He's just through here. Desmond, look at all the pencils we found. After a brief dungeon shootout with some robots, you'll come to the final conclusion of this lifelong rivalry and be faced with a choice. Desmond, the guy who's mean and uses naughty language, or Calvert, the brain in a tube. <laughs> he made it too easy. I want to know what the brain is up to. The brain interests me far more. At long last. Desmond is dead, and you, my friend, I have you to finally thank for it. All in a day's work. Now share your wisdom with me, brain. Well, for you, I have a very special gift. Death! What? What? No! You can't betray me! I, why? Why? Come on, I actually like you. Your use to me has simply expired. Yeah, this ending stinks. Go with Desmond. At least he won't backstab you. At last, the world is rid of that sniveling, disgusting, arrogant brain. The main quest is finished and you're now completely loaded. I couldn't possibly go through all the loot you'll obtain up until this point. It's so plentiful and so easy to make big bucks. I suggest bumping the difficulty all the way up to very hard. That way it'll still give you something to work towards while completing the remaining content on the island. Quick warning though. Oh! Good god, the enemies in this DLC are absolute tanks and hit like freight trains on very hard. What the f- They're not playing around. Not anymore, on very hard? Whoa, what in the god's name are you? Oh, it's the guy from the Goonies! Ah! <laughs> Stop, I thought you were the good guy! Jesus, guys, yo! I can't believe you've done this. I am an officer of the law around here. You're not allowed to kill me. 
It's crazy, they sound even more intelligent in slow motion. God dang. These guys are smoking me now. I think I just used like 15 stim packs between these two fights. So what other activities can keep you busy around Point Lookout that don't involve vanquishing a circular family tree? Wanna dabble in the fine arts? Make some moonshine with Marguerite at her shack. Good thing, sweetie. It'll explain the absurd amount of fission batteries all around the map. Wanna help a small business? Make friends with Haley over at Haley's Hardware. Visit him enough times and Fallout 3 will just boost his repair level all the way to level 100. That way you can keep your equipment at full health and listen to his fun quips every time you do so. Sure as a swamp folks head is squishy, good to see y'all alive. Welcome back to Haley's Hardware. Sure as a swamp good folks head is swamp folks head Haley's squishy. Hardware. Speaking of good deeds, clamber your way through the traps set up by post-apocalyptic Kevin McAllister and help Kenny find his teddy bear. Oh, ow, ow, baseballs! Uh. Oh, god damn, it's attack of the inanimate objects. Why does what is that? What is that sound? You made it past my traps? Uh, I mean, get out of here, mister. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Never trust a child with a BB gun. I just, look, he's just destroying all of his stuff. Wait, that's actually kind of cool if he changes the targets. He does. This one's not that fun, but Kenny's a bit charming though. Want to experience the lamest quest in Fallout history? You don't? Well, too bad. Hop on over to the USS Breaking Bad's best episode for an exhilarating adventure of jumping into three mud holes and opening a safe. This quest really sucked. You're not truly having the full Swamp Life experience without occult references and voodoo worship though, are you? Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Went to Catholic school. Greetings, child. I'm Marcella. Catholic or Christian missionary. I'm assuming the differences blend together after a few hundred years and, you know, the whole nukes thing. Eventually, you'll meet a nice old man at Black Hall Manor with a fairly simple task for you. You see, the family heirloom of mine has been stolen. Smash some heads, bring it back, get paid. What do you say? But hold on, remember that missionary we just met? Wait a moment. I need to know. Has Obadiah sent you in search of a book? Listen to me very carefully, child. Bring it to him. Oh, no problem. Glad to see we're all on the same page here. That book is known as the Krivbekne, and it's a thing of evil purpose. Grab the book from this really creepy voodoo cave, almost lose to a psycho with a lead pipe. Dude, what are you made out of? And bring the book back to Obadiah for a nice little reward. Time to deliver the good news to Marcella. Whoa! I didn't want you to die! No, no, Marcella, Marcella, listen to me. Hey, 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 come on, wake up. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings. Come on, you know the rest of the words. Oh no, Marcella, you poor thing, you didn't deserve it. I... I don't expect to survive. I only pray that... <laughs> that you haven't taken that book to Obadiah. I am sorry for all my sins with all my heart. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> this is brutal to sit through, man. Obi? A Quartoth has returned. Be afraid, worms. Oh, is that like my cool occult nickname? Because if, you, if you're giving me a nickname, I, I'm kind of in. I mean, occult is, it, that, that's weird. You know, if we're going to be all culty and whatnot. But I didn't realize it came with a cool nickname. Do you have any cult swag? I can get behind that nickname. I am Ugg Quartoth. You shouldn't be here. Get out of my home. I usually <laughs> I usually hide my bodies in the river, but this is nice too. Don't play it what you misunderstand, troglodyte. Get out! Huh? What did you call me? I am Ugg Qualtooth! I shall not be insulted like this in my own basement! Let's be honest, this guy didn't deserve to start his own voodoo cult. There's really only one person in Point Lookout worthy of holding the Kriv Bekna. Welcome back to Haley's Hardware! Hardware. Woo! Wait, can I just sell him the Kriv Bekna? <laughs> I know exactly who to give this occult textbook to. Haley, I hope you will start up the occult because there's no other person on the island worthy of starting their own cult. Come back anytime. Now, there's still one mysterious question left in Point Lookout to answer. Who gave you the lobotomy after your acid trip? I didn't mention her earlier, but Nadine at the Tribal's base of operations is actually the daughter of... Tobar, you're a legend in the making. Where'd that one lady go? When questioned about who cut a chunk of your brain out, Nadine goes off to investigate on her own before she reveals the truth. And you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, 
I'm in charge of his boat now. What? It was Tobar? Get the... Uh-uh. No. Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. Tobar, you make a fair case. As a counterpoint... Let's recap. You ran away from home, traveled to a far-off land, helped out dead communists, went on a field trip, made some booze, blew up a mansion, befriended some cultists, got addicted to literally every drug in existence because there's no doctors in town, I left that part out, befriended another cultist, got a missionary killed, ruined the economy, got invasive surgery, created a cultist, and not including tribals or swamp folk, you've left the population of Point Lookout at... Five. Desmond, Nadine, Mad Empanada, Haley, and Marguerite. I guess we'll count Plick as well, who charges you a thousand caps to fight a handful of ghouls. What a crock of shit. Editor's note, forgot about Kenny. All right, we'll throw Kenny in there. I've shown you almost every major piece of content on Point Lookout in some capacity, so if you want to retire alongside the handful of people still alive here, you're more than welcome to. But if you can't shake that feeling that the swamp folk still have an upper hand on you in combat, take note of the areas they spawn in, load up on chems, and never forget what Tobar said. Kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on! One, two, three, four. There we go, one down. Come on! There we go, got him. Am I out of stim packs? I use every single stim pack, I'm out! I like these fully animated cabinets. They're kind of unsettling in a weird way. Ah! God damn! Holy shit, that got me good. Woo! Welcome back to Haley's. Bears are top quality. I need your drugs. Why are there so many of you here? Oh my god, we're not doing this. Stop. How did he get his missile launcher back? I could have sworn it. Oh! Nice. See, if it's only one of them, it's not that bad. Nice. Look at that. We actually have a good strategy now. I, I didn't think that the shotgun was right in front of me. Holy, what the hell is going on in here? That's disaster relief outpost, right? Marcella, she's- Ah! Fuck you! God, what is that? What is that? I, I best traveled here! You can't just Malcolm Holmes yourself and fill up the whole- What does this one gang really like about this one cemetery? I mean, they love meeting up here. Like, this is their spot. They keep sending reinforcements back to the same. Oh, whew. Finally, that's the easiest fight I've had against one of these dickheads. Oh my god, this gun is broken. There we go. More BBs. The guys who keep dropping BBs. <laughs> I don't think they realize that what a fortune they're all sitting on. Welcome back to Hey, this hardware. Five hundred and six BBs. I'm running. <laughs> I have an empire on BBs. Oh. <laughs> don't make it sound like you're the victim here. Okay, you attacked me. Okay, was he? Why was he Naruto running at me? When did they all become anime fans? What gang are these smugglers affiliated with? I want to speak to their leader. He's doing a really bad job. Like, he just keeps sending his people to get killed. No way I can hit from here. 28%? Come on. Never tell me the odds. Both in a row? Somebody do the math. What's 0.28 times 0.28? Those were our odds of hitting both. That's right, I took a statistics class once. One gun at a time. Yes, render the BB rounds unto me. Yes, yes, I know the sound of a BB when I hear it. 
cut open his belly and gut him for the BBs he's holding out from me. Are our smuggler friends back? They're back for their annual ass-kicking meetup. Woo! <laughs> okay, there's only two of them. That's a BB gun, I'm not worried. <gasps> Are they both BB guns? Oh, they're both BB guns! We got a double whammy, but like a good version of a whammy. It's the annual ass-kicking meetup at the cemetery. I thought it was weird that it kept going down. Then I just saw bubbles. Oh, oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh my god, I died. 